Hey guys, so last week I missed out, but this week you had voted on the vampire deck, the black, red, white vampire deck, so let's check it out. Basics for uh, four mountains, four uh, plains, and seven swamps. Those are your basic lands. We got Bajuka Bog. Very good card. Oh, this one. Castle Dracula. <laughs> it's like Voldaren Estate, but it's the, the Castle Dracula version. And then we've got, of course, Nomad Outpost, which is a great card. Sorry for the reflection here, guys, but it's the only light I got. Got Path of Ancestry, Command Tower, Opal Palace, Terramorphic Expanse. You got to fix those three color land drops, right? Evolving Wilds. Got a Plateau in there. A Sacred Foundry in there. You know, a little bit of a. Sacred Foundry is good. I, I like Shocklands. Uh, Windscarred Crag. Boros Garrison. Give you that double mana. Scoured Barons. Godless Shrine. Another Shocky. We got a Scrubland in here. Got Orisaw Bellis. Basilica, the sorry, Rakdos Carnarium, Temple of Malice, Blood Fell Caves, Blood Crypt, Smoldering Marsh. And we got this here blight step pathway in there because it's got the red side too. Those are our non basic lands. Now we got some artifacts in our deck. Now, since we're vampire tribal, we're using Blade of the Blood Chief. Very good card. We got Skull Clamp because it's Skull Clamp and we want to draw a bunch of cards, get to our lands. The Boros Signet. The Rakdos Signet and the Orizov Signet, giving us all our colors and signets. So that's our artifacts. And then our enchantments Legion's Landing. Very, very good enchantment. I like that. I don't know if you got There we go. Get that. Yeah. And then Phyrexian Arena, of course. We, we want to get all the Phyrexian Arenas to get all that card draw. Radiant Destiny is going to pump our guys up, do awesome stuff with them. Kindred Boon. I actually really like this guy because you can like make your guys indestructible, right? Uh, Palace Siege. All right. Exquisite Blood. And of course, with Exquisite Blood, Sanguine Bond. Because, you know, winning. And then after that, we have some sorceries. We're using Death's Grasp. Really pretty version of it. We're using New Blood. I like this one. Fell the Mighty. I would like to turn this into another Wrath of God once I get another one. I got like two or three. I got to find it. Uh, Blood Dice. Uh, Blood Tribute. Sorry. Blood Tribute. Haunting Voyage. And Merciless Eviction. Our instance. Sword Plowshares. Go for the throat. That's just a flavor win. 
sudden spoiling to spoil our opponent's turn very suddenly. Generous gift. Have an elephant. That big old thing that you were going to do, it's an elephant. Come on, Tafari's protection in every deck you can fit in. Anguished on making. Mortify. Crackling Doom. And Return to Dust. Those are our instants. Okay, now we're going to move on to our creatures. For one cost, we only got two. We got the Seer. And we got this guy here. Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter. Because he lets us loot, like get a, get a bunch of cards, which, which is good. And then for our two drops... Paladin of Atonement. Blood Artist. Now we're kind of going with a death and taxes thing here where you just want to like gain life and lose life and pitiless pontiff. I'm going to make sure dudes are destructible and stuff. Cruel Celebrant, another lifey swingy thingy. Tithe Drinkers, got the Extort, which helps with the lifey stingy, you know. We got Legion Lieutenant, get our guys all pumped up. Our vampires are tough. And Vran the Executioner thing for that, you know, life swingy awesomeness. Look at that Phyrexian foiliness. I love that. Alright, so our three cost creatures. Four Runner of the Legion. This guy will get us more vampires, get things going. Stormkirk Captain will pump our guys we have up, making them viable attackers. Yeah, Henny is there for yeah, any obvious reasons. Now, as you see, there's a very heavy vampire theme in the deck. I try to follow it, like, really strictly. Uh, vampire Nighthawk. There's so many vampires to choose from, so why wouldn't you, you know? Captivating Vampire will get our guys big again, you know? Pumps them all up. Vito! Thorn of the Dusk Rose. He's awesome. I love this guy. It's one of my favorite white vampires, Mavern Fen, Dusk Apostle. Just makes a whole bunch of dudes every time he attacks. And Rakish Air will get our guys all pumped up once our opponents start taking the little vampires. They'll make them bigger and bigger so they won't want to take them and will be forced into bad blocks. Uh, four costs. Bishop of Binding will lock down some stuff for you. It'll knock some things out. It's great. NJ, the Maid of Dishonor, gives us a little fun with blood tokens and stuff like that. Vindictive Vampire, more more like a life swingy life drain. Falcon Wrath Noble, more of the same life swingy life drain. Of course, with Dracula's Castle, we gotta have Dracula the Voyager. As you can see, he's just Edgar Markov, like a Edgar Charmed Groom, but. You know, they named it Dracula. They made it Dracula. I like this one. Dracula's awesome. Uh, Elena the Dusk Rose. Need her. I like her. Sangromancers. Always a good, good good vampire to play with. And Thirsting Bloodlord. Gets our guys big again. Pump them all up. And then our five drops. Kinzu of the Bleak Coven. Or Black Coven. Is it Bleak or Black? Bleak Coven, yes. Yeah, Kinzu of the Bleak Coven. Malikar Blood Witch. This guy's pretty good with the life drain stuff. Drana is good at removing creatures that are pesky and then swinging in for a tough attack. I like her. She flies too, so she's got the evasion. Uh, Bishop of Rebirth will bring all of our little guys back. Our three and lower, like, pumpers and stuff like that. There's quite a few of them in this here, so the bishop's really, really handy. Anawan uh, destroys non-vampire decks. Uh, we're not going to be punished at all for playing him because I, th I think every creature is a vampire. So, uh, Blood Lord of Visgoth. I mean, this guy gives all vampires bloodthirst. It's crazy. And then our big drops are Butcher of Malakir. There you go, guys. You want to see what he does just in case there. And. Lisa Sanguine Trib Tribune, I think her name is. Yeah. And then, of course, our big boy. Here's Edgar. With his awesome eminence ability, 
Whenever you cast another vampire spell, if Edgar Markov is in the command zone or on the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one black vampire creature. This guy right here. So remember, this is Edgar Markov, white, black, red vampires. It's very life gaining, very swingy. Probably my longest deck tech yet because there's a lot to talk about with vampires. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have something else for you later coming up.